Hello, good afternoon, everyone. You're now watching CGTN live streams. Uh, I'm Feng Yilai, streaming from China's northeast city of Shenyang. And uh, as you know, today is the Lantern Festival, and. Uh, uh, the Lantern Festival marks the, fi uh, the, the final day of the 15-day-long uh, Lunar New Year break and uh, uh, across the country people celebrate this day of family reunion, harmony and happiness with uh, various events including uh, a lantern displays, uh, temple fair, uh, dragon dances and uh, a firework etc and etc. But here uh, today I'm going to show you something different and right now I'm in uh, Shenyang's Central Street which is set to be uh, China's uh, earliest, longest, and also one of the most famous uh, business street, uh, which has been um, refurbished, featuring some uh, traditional architectural styles, uh, some uh, special bazaar and uh, uh, folk arts. So we just found this tea house uh, where people gather for its festive atmosphere, and it's providing. Uh, citizens with uh, a series of uh, uh, art forms, those being um, painting, calligraphy, um, the making of tea, incense, um, and also music performance. And uh, let's just start with the most famous and also the most popular uh, tradition of uh, Lantern Festival. So here, as you can see, behind me there are many pieces of paper uh, hung on this shelf, and they are uh, the Get the, the riddles uh, of the Lantern Festival and uh, usually uh, the owner of Lantern and also the, uh, orga the event organizer will, uh, will write uh, some uh, puzzles on the piece of paper and uh, uh, put them on lanterns uh, and uh, if you happen to know the answer to those uh, riddles uh, you can uh, pull it off and uh, take it to uh, the event organizer and if you, your answer is correct you can get uh, a, a small gift. So today I've got one uh, easy uh, puzzle for you uh, for you guys and this one which uh, which which dog uh, doesn't bite and doesn't bark and I'll get back to you uh, and you can if you think you have the correct answer you can leave us a message on our social uh, media platform and uh, this way we can see the creator of those amazing uh, lantern riddles uh, Oh, this is our uh, the calligrapher Yu Ye, and I think she's trying to do something now. Uh, can you give me a Okay, so uh, uh, Ms. Yu Ye is going to do some brush writings, Fu uh, Xi Ying Ji, which means uh, good fortune and happiness gathered together. So while she's doing uh, the great artwork, uh, let me show you there are four uh, treasures of the traditional Chinese calligraphy that is um, brush, and she's using the bigger one to write the four characters. And here we can see this one. This is the this is the paper. Uh, can you tell us about the it is the 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 so this paper she's just writing on is a special, specially handmade paper uh, made in China's Anhui province. It is a very special yeah, it's high quality, it's very rare. And as you can see, she's uh, dipping the, the brush into the ink every time when she starts uh, writing a new character. And now our Lao Shi is using a smaller brush 
to to sign her name on the paper. And the stamp as well. And this is the final stem, so the biggest one. Okay, I see many of you comment that this is gorgeous, and it is indeed. So I would like to ask our Lao Shi about what is uh, what, what is special about uh, uh, his uh, her masterpiece. 那您可以给我们简单介绍一下这一幅字它有什么特殊之处吗？啊、uh, ，我写的是乾皇体，就是乾隆皇帝呃独有的字体。呃，从小呢就是和父亲学习的，从六岁开始学习，呃，然后学到现在，每天也要坚持练习两个小时以上。啊，我先翻译一下给我们的那个观众。So, uh, Yu Ye says, uh, this this uh particular font is, uh, 它是乾隆皇帝发明的这个，是它由他这个呃呃乾隆皆是创作的这个多字。Okay, so it's ex exclusive to a Chinese uh. Uh, emperor named Qianlong, and uh, Yu Ye has been practicing uh, calligraphy. How uh, many years? Uh, I over 24 years, uh, about two hours every day from her father. Uh, can you please introduce this 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 letter's characteristics and why did you choose this letter today? Because the Qianlong Letter is called the Emperor's Letter. The letter is very thick, and very thick, very thick, very thick, very thick. 特别的圆润，特别适合我们像春节呀，或者是各个节气的时候，看起来特别的，呃，喜庆啊。所以我选择的就是乾隆的字体。So she said the reason of choosing this kind of fonts, the fonts of Emperor Qianlong, is that it also uh, named uh, the fonts of Wales, which, as you can see, uh, the the every stroke is very uh, full and it flows smoothly. So it. Uh, kind of suggest uh, good fortune and wealth and happiness. Uh, then our viewers have some questions. Is to ask why there are so many inks? Uh, inks are divided. This is called a ink. This is my name. Ah, so we have to divide it into many. Ink are just my some like some yacht or I like some books. It can be used in ink. Like we are using now, the two words are ink and ink. Understand? Ah. Then this this ink is the ink of the Qianlong Emperor. 叫皇帝之宝，这是我仿造啊、呃、乾隆年间乾隆皇帝的这个这枚印，一笔一做的啊，因为我特别崇拜乾隆皇帝啊，因为他写的书法特别的美，特别漂亮。其实就是仿仿制乾隆皇帝本，就是本人的这个章，是的，做的啊。啊，然后这边是满语，这边是汉语。Uh, so she says, uh, there are different kinds of uh, uh, stamps. Some of 
them are uh, her names and titles, and some are uh, the uh, the poems and the, and lines that she she likes. And this one is uh, uh, is the stamp of the Emperor Qianlong, uh, and she said she uh, it, she she really likes uh, his uh, artwork, so she made one um, and put it on her work. Oh, thank you for uh, so uh, this is just one of the six art forms, as we, uh, as I've mentioned today. And uh, uh, after that, I'm going to show you something more. Um, so if we walk here, we can see a a room <coughs> with several people sitting here. So that is the traditional Chinese tea ceremony. but是每个人几个是有数 在被我们念念不忘的，不管他的经济条件的好与坏，他都是我们传统中不可或缺的一个景点，非常重要。所以今天，呃，爱心节罗六一啊上学堂在这样一个喜庆节日里举办了这样一个别开生面的呃三月十
usually it's uh, sweet, it's, uh, it's bowl shaped, it's made of uh, sticky rice and stuffed with uh, meat, sesame, uh, nuts, fruits or sugar. But it's not very usual to see a uh, yuan xiao uh, that goes with tea. So they're, they're not talking about folks um, of Lantern Festival in their childhood. And this lady is talking about how they make lanterns with fruit, with orange. And how they made a lantern with an empty can and a candle. And also one of the participants earlier said uh, this remind them of their uh, the, the early days of their life and also um, with that comparison you can see how happy they are now. And they're talking about things they label with on this special day and uh, uh, how much they like about the lantern fair. And this is Mr. Qi. Uh, I think she, he, Ning Ning, is today's host of this Chaohui. Yes, yes, yes. I'm the speaker today. And he is um, uh, the host of today's event, and she, he's going to uh, like teach everyone about the tea ceremony. Can you give us a brief introduction about the tea ceremony? What will be the content of the tea ceremony? Yes, we have prepared a tea ceremony for today. We have prepared a tea ceremony for today. We have prepared a tea ceremony for today. We have 但是呢，很多人都很想念春天的味道，所以我们选了一个高香的茶——茉莉花茶，也是中国传统的花茶之一。然后呢，第二款呢是我们的张平水仙乌龙茶，啊、呃，因为乌龙茶长期饮用的话呢，对女士的皮肤的锁水性能那个功效也是特别的好，呃，而且它消食，因为经过一冬，我们可能过年的时候会吃了很多油腻的东西，那么乌龙茶呢就会消失解腻，会更快。那第三款呢，我为大家准备了一款。呃，宫廷红是一款红茶啊，啊，我们是一会儿呢会自制啊奶茶啊，然后呢我们会大家准备了，是用这个红茶做奶茶吗？对对对对，最后呢是为大家准备了啊元宵，今天特殊节日嘛，元宵节，所以我们每个人要都要吃元宵嘛，嗯。So、today the、uh, the tea ceremony was start with a special uh jasmine 是乌呃茉莉花茶还是茉莉绿茶？茉莉花茶。A jasmine tea, and then comes uh, uh, a kind of uh, wulong tea named uh, Zhang Ping Shui Xian. So uh, our lecturer said uh, this kind of tea, uh, the jasmine tea, will add a, fl a flavor of uh, the, the coming spring to uh, today's event, and also Zhang Ping Shui Xian will help uh, all the ladies here to uh, it's, it's it's good for their for their skin uh, and also help you to to digest. And finally, they will try to make a. a Milk tea with a special black tea, and I want to ask if we today have a chance to see this milk tea or this milk tea. Yes, it's okay. Today, I also prepared a special tea, this tea is called Gong Ting Hong. If you need, we can try to imitate how the tea is made in China. Is it now or is it now? 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 那我们可以给看看一下吗？啊，好的，可以。呃，如果方便的话，您可以跟我们就是简单介绍一下，就是说这个每一个步骤是先怎么样，再怎么样。啊，好的，好的是这样的，呃。我们在泡茶的时候呢
，一般都会用沸水啊，用沸水温热煮泡器具啊。这个就是咱们中国的传统的这个沸水，呃，冷冷下来以后去冲泡这个器具。对，用沸水温热盖碗，然后呢再投入茶叶，啊，这个时候呢你就能闻到茶叶的干茶的香气，啊，然后呢。稍等一下，我跟我们的观众解释一下。Okay, so uh, we are lucky enough to see uh, how uh, our tea artists make a uh, the special uh, black tea uh, with uh, all those uh, uh, special. Tools. So first, he said he will use um, a boil water to warm up the uh, the cup, and then uh, when you put the dry tea leaves in it, uh, the, the tea leaves will tinge the air with a, a special fragrance. 好，谢谢你。然后您呃可以再给我们介绍一下，在这个香味以后会有什么样的？啊，稍后的话呢，我们会是正常的一个茶会流程，大家一起吃元宵。交流一下童年的时候的一个过元宵的一个具体细节，因为我们现在在场呢，肯定有不同年龄段啊，大家每个的元宵的，呃，怎么度过的童年的这些故事，肯定都是特别丰富多彩的。然后呢，我们也准备了一些灯谜，让大家一会儿去来进行游戏，啊，也是一个很愉悦的一个下午。And uh, also, they will exchange their unique experience of uh, spend of spending the Lantern Festival. Because, as you see, uh, our participants to this event they are uh, of uh, different generations, uh, so they must have some uh, some interesting stories to share with each other. And after that, they uh, he has also prepared several Lantern puzzles for them to play with. Uh, and now, as you can see, uh, Mr. Chi is putting tea leaves into the cup. 然后接下来就是说往里面加水。对。Okay, then take a look. Okay,那接下来就可以正常品饮了。就是第一杯是不喝的。第一杯是喝的。呃，这一杯是。因为是我们中国呢，现在的喝的茶都是属于名优茶，无论从工艺上还是从呃等级啊、卫生啊各个条
Petal Artist.老师你好，打扰了。我这边是 CGTN 在做一场关于这个元宵节中国文化的直播、嗯，想问一下您这边是在做什么呢？哦，我这边呢是正在做中国传统的一个打香钻、打香印的一种品香方式。嗯，打香是一个什么样的一个？嗯，可以给我们解释介绍一下。就是首先呢，我们要将这个香炉中的刺香灰均匀的，然后压实、压平，然后在这个平面上面，我们会用到这种模具，这种香道的模具，嗯、呃，然后来把香粉塑造成这种祥云呐、啊，或者莲花呀，一系列有美好寓意的这种形状啊。就是今天呢，我们是用到的是这种。传统的沉香香粉，嗯，然后还有这款祥云的这种香钻的模型，嗯，然后这个是我事先做好了的一款，大概就会把它塑造成这种感觉，嗯，这种这种造型，然后之后呢，我们再用线香把这个香给引燃，然后这样再来品赏这个沉香的香气。就是先制香再焚香、嗯。哎，对，先制香，然后焚香。嗯，谢谢我们呃我们的观众介绍一下。So basically, the procedure of making and uh, the making and burning the incense, including um putting the powder of incense, which is in 香粉是在 in the small pot. I'll let my cameraman take uh a close up of it. So this is the uh the powder of um. Incense. So this one is possibly made of、uh, eagle wood, which is called Chen Xiang. Chen Xiang is, uh, Chen Xiang. 的话是我们中国传统的四大名香的首位。然后呢，它对呃人的身体呢有一个很好的调节作用。嗯、呃，就是可可以很好的帮助我们呃凝神静气，颐养性情。嗯 ，So. She said, "Chen Xiang is、uh, one of the four famous Chinese traditional incense, and uh, uh, people believe it help you、uh, it help you to get healthier and help you to concentrate and relax. And、uh, after that,、uh, she will put a yeah, put this tool and、um, on this、uh, in this pot, and uh, then uh, she put the the powder in it、mm -hmm. to shape it, and this is the finished product." 可以可以移动吗？可以可以，轻一点就可以。可以。And as you can see, uh, this is a shape of a uh a 祥云 ，which means a cloud, and also it's a uh it symbolizes good fortune as well. So after that, you light it up, and uh you light it, and then uh it will uh give out the the fragrance. 我们可以呃看您在这边嗯可以做一下，我可以再给您做一下示范。Okay, and、uh, she will do it again.
是整个这个过程当中呢，我们在制香的过程当中是尽量就不要讲话的，是保持安静。然后呢，同时的话，手部的动作要轻柔，要比较稳。嗯，所以就是整个填这个镶钻的过程的话，需要花费的时间会比较长一点。嗯 ，She says the the process is uh is a a little time consuming because you you need to keep silence, you need to keep still, you have to your your hand move uh need to be very gentle and soft. So let's just be here for a while to enjoy this moment. Okay, so our audience, Richard Yan, uh, has left a comment um, asking how is incense produced, assembled, and is it made of natural spices? Oh, I'll un answer your questions uh, once the art is finished. Mm -hmm. 
这个香是怎么样制作的？我的一个猜测可能就是他想问一下这个香是怎么样变成粉末，然后又怎么样聚集在一起，然后它是可能是什么样的一个成分？嗯，这个香的话，这个香是用沉香的这种香块，然后直接研磨成粉。研磨成粉之后呢，我们会把这种天然的香粉放到就是储存密封储存起来。然后像我们现在正在使用的话，就是这种单方的沉香块研磨碎后的这个粉。嗯，它是怎么样保持这样一个稳定的情况？呃，就是通过我们在就是填这个香蒜的时候，不断的将这个粉末让它用力压实，然后将它固定成这种形状。So her answer is, um, these powders are made of cubes of chenxiang, which I guess it's uh, some kind of eagle wood, but I need to double check. Uh, and uh, after that, um, they are keep uh, in a special con condition. And uh, while she put those powder uh, in this uh, special tool, um, you need to be very very patient to make sure that it's shaped and uh, it can all the powders can stay together. So you have to do it again and again. To make sure that it that it can keeps um, like that. Uh, because we are running out of time, so uh, the artist says she will just show us uh, how to uh, appreciate the incense with the finished product and uh, we'll just leave it here. So basically the trick is you have to press the powder again and again with a little bit of strength to um, to uh, make sure that it won't, uh, it is not loose. Okay, so... Next,接下来我们要做一下。它会固定成这种形状，然后呢，我们在品香的时候呢，是需要用一根线香啊，然后把它引燃，然后再来品赏它的这个香气。嗯，So we will burn um the clock shaped incense with this. So there is a special ritual of uh, appreciation of the uh, the incense. So you have to stay about um, uh, 30 centimeters away from
uh, stay mm. 30 um, centimeters away from the pot. Mm. And you have to sit very still. Okay. So you hold the pot with your left hand. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna try it myself. So first you have to sit your jump so like this. Straight and still. And then clear your nose and mouth by taking a few deep breaths. Usually speaking, talking is prohibited, but today uh, I think I need to make a few, um, I need to explain a little bit. So. The reason that no talk is because my breath, but I'll um, mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, do it again. So uh, usually you can't speak or talk uh, during this uh, procedure because your breath will, will um, affect the smoke and uh, you can't uh, really appreciate the how the, the smell. So um, I'm gonna uh, explain first and uh, do it. So uh, I will put this pot uh, on my legs, uh, right, uh, uh, which is really, really close to my abdomen and. Uh, then I will take uh, I will take a few deep breaths to um, enjoy this uh, the fragrance. So it's, it seems uh, it's a little bit wet today, so uh, it doesn't last very long, but indeed it smells very relaxing and uh, as you can see in this uh, comfy little room, uh, I think it, it does help you to, um, to, um, to concentrate and also it's uh, good for your health both uh, mentally and physically. 好,老师,谢谢,那我们就先离开了。Okay, and our uh, next stop is also something that uh, smells very good. But before that, I see many of you have uh, left your questions. 
So I'll start with the first one. Um, Shepherd uh, Mo Pofu, sorry if I uh, if I didn't pronounce it in the right way. So uh, the question is, what is written? I think uh, it's uh, a question to our first uh, calligraphy performance. So uh, if I didn't uh, if I didn't get it wrong, I think uh, our calligrapher uh, our calligrapher wrote. Um, uh, uh, Something, something mean. Uh, good fortune and happiness come together, and also uh, there is a question about uh, the emperor himself. So um, he is. Uh, the emperor Qianlong was uh, the first emperor uh, of the Qing dynasty and also the longest living uh, emperor, and. Uh, we are now at our uh, flower arranging event, and uh, let me just talk to uh, the flower arranging teacher. Hey, 您好。您好。呃，想问一下，这边是在做现在在做什么呢？呃，东方茶花。东方茶花。东方茶花。呃 ，the Oriental flower arranging。那它有什么特点吗？呃，东方茶花其实现在在台湾呀，在日本呀，呃，很多地方都有。但是最早最早是源自于我们，呃，中国的隋唐时期啊、呃。现在我们茶的花呢，就是有平花，然后有盘花，还有这种兰花，都是我们中国茶花最古老的形式。So it is a very ancient form of flower arranging. Uh, it it is very popular now in China's uh, uh, Taiwan province and Japan, but uh, it it is originated. Uh, it can be traced back to uh, the Sui and Tang dynasty, which is about a thousand years ago. Uh, and today. Uh, our artist is going to showcase uh, different different ways of uh, doing the uh, the oriental uh, flower arranging, uh, including those in the vase, in the bowl, in the even in the basket. Uh, 那可以给我们介绍今天选了哪些花吗？啊、uh, ，我们今天选的像离我们最近的叫春春金，就是我们现在用起来用就是寓意比较好。春春金，春春金是什么？是梅花吗？还是啊，不是，它就是这种花，就叫春春金对对对，就感觉它开的时候就有一点黄，一点一点的黄，就叫它春春金。然后今天选的还有这种中国的兰花，嗯、这个是蕙兰、嗯，啊，然后还有这种叫，啊，还有这种兰花，蝴蝶兰。就是比较有中国特色，还有现在我们三月份开的最好的这种桃花。啊，我待会儿可以跟我们重新再就是一个个指一下，然后我来介介介绍一下。So as you can see, there are many different kinds of beautiful flowers. So, uh, some of them, uh, they they suggest uh, also good fortune and uh, their best wishes uh, for a, a a new year. So this one, uh, it's uh, yellow and it has a good name that. Uh, Suggest 它是它的有寓意是什么呢？寓意啊，就是很富贵。呃、uh, ，it's just wealth and uh, uh, that's I think that's、uh, the reason why it is here. And also we we can see some、uh, special Chinese flowers,、uh, two kinds of orchid. So this purple one and uh, that uh, light yellow one. 还有这个是桃花是蝴蝶兰。桃花。蝴蝶兰是因为长得像。And this one uh, takes it, its name from uh, its uh, butterfly shape. And uh, also, this is a, a peach blossom, uh, a flower that you can see in、uh, early spring. Um, this is what? This is called Dongqing. Okay, and uh, uh, this uh, red plant uh, is. Uh, Chinese ilex and 它有什么寓意吗？这种就是新年的时候，我们呃很多时候都用红颜色的啊，还有一些节日的时候，就感觉红红火火。嗯 
So it is a New Year flower, as you can see, it's red, and uh, of course, red goes with perfectly with uh, uh, the Spring Festival. 那可以呃，我们可以看一下您这边这个呃一些茶花的一些演示吗？可以啊。So artist is going to show us uh, what flower arranging actually is. So, first, you need to remove the roots, or is it okay? Like this kind of flower, first remove the roots, then remove the roots. 所以 she's going to do a, a flower arranging in this、uh, blue vase. And first, the first thing you need to do is to get rid of the root. And attach it to the vase and fix it. And someone just asked、um, if、um, the incense burning is some of it、uh, is is is、uh, considered、um, someone just asked、um, if incense has、uh, some medical functions as well.、Uh, I guess the answer is yes because、um, uh, the artist.、Uh, Just told us、uh, that people believe it's good for their health. So I'd say it's、uh, some of a mental massage for people. Ah,、uh, 老师，您在插花的时候可以打断您一下吗？就是想问一下您，就是您刚才也说到这个是隋唐时候的这个一个呃艺术，它当时是。呃，属于也是在民间的一种一种呃一种活动吗？还是当时呢是在宫廷里面比较多啊，然后还有就是一些寺院里边，因为寺院作为佛前供花啊，然后宫廷里边是这个宫里边的一些，像我们现在看那些电视剧里边也会有，就是必修课，女人的必修课。嗯。So back to the old days,、um, flower arranging is not something you can. Uh, for uh, something、uh, that the general public can practice daily, uh, uh, usually it's used、uh, in the royal families and uh, uh, used to for people to pay tribute to、uh, the Buddha.、Uh, but nowadays, I think、uh, it's it has become something really common, uh, and um, it's a lesson. It's even a lesson that you can learn. Okay, the last one.
，然后再做一下调整就好了。You adjust the the position of uh, different flowers, and I think it's down. 那这边就呃，您这边就完成了是吗？对，这边完成了。Okay, let's take a final look at this. Um, it's beautiful artwork. Okay, and. Uh, as we move on, I think uh, right there, there's something also very colorful waiting for us. Uh, so that, that's also flowers. But this time, uh, it's on the paper. Hello,老师您好。我这边是CGTN正在做一次元宵节的直播，想问一下您这边是在画什么呢？呃，我在画牡丹。啊，so uh, these are peony flowers. 呃，牡丹画牡丹是呃有什么原因吗？嗯，因为我特别喜欢牡丹。啊，牡丹是我们的国花。啊，它雍容华贵，芳香馥郁，有国色天香的美称，并且象征着富贵吉祥。so uh, our artist says uh, peony is one of her favorite flowers and uh, it's also the national flower of China and drawing peony flower today is uh, because it symbolizes uh, fortune, wealth and prosperity etc etc. Uh, 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 就是富贵吉祥嗯呃怎么样能把它画的因为我看这边啊特别的嗯啊因为啊牡丹呢它颜色很多它的姿态也各异呃最主要就是把作者的情感表现出来嗯越让紫色嗯然后在这个花的造型
spark. So the answer is hot dog. And um, finally, um, we will end our uh, live stream today with uh, the performance of Gu Qing. So Gu Qing is a seven-string Chinese um, musical instrument. It is very famous among noblemen in the old days. And this one uh, sounds like a sound from a Chinese animation and the name of the sun is uh, Bright Moon. Uh, and I forgot to mention that today, uh, also every Lantern Festival, you can see the first uh, full moon of uh, a, in, uh, the first full moon in the Lunar New Year. So I think we will just uh, uh, end our live stream of Lantern Festival with this beautiful melody. And it's really an impressive experience here to celebrate this special day with traditional Chinese arts and performances. And now we know Chinese people, they are celebrate, they're, they're celebrating um, festivals with uh, a vast variety of events and also it's good to know uh, to, or to learn our precious um, traditional arts. So thank you for watching and uh, thank you for uh, leaving us comments on our social platform and for more information you can follow us on Twitter, WeChat, YouTube and Weibo. See you next time. Thank you.